Wealth file number 9. Rich people are bigger than their problems. Poor people are smaller than their problems. As I said earlier, getting rich is not a stroll in the park. It is a journey that is full of twists, turns, detours, and obstacles. The road to wealth is fraught with traps and pitfalls, and that's precisely why most people don't take it. They don't want the hassles, the headaches, and the responsibilities. In short, they don't want the problems. Therein lies one of the biggest differences between rich people and poor people. Rich and successful people are bigger than their problems, while poor and unsuccessful people are smaller than their problems. Poor people will do almost anything to avoid problems. They see a challenge and they run. The irony is that in their quest to make sure they don't have problems, they have the biggest problem of all they're broke and miserable. The secret to success, my friends, is not to try to avoid or get rid of or shrink from your problems. The secret is to grow yourself so that you are bigger than any problem. Wealth Principle the secret to success is not to try to avoid or get rid of or shrink from your problems, the secret is to grow yourself so that you are bigger than any problem. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the lowest, imagine you are a person with a level 2 strength of character and attitude looking at a level 5 problem. Would this problem appear to be big or little? From a level 2 perspective, a level 5 problem would seem like a big problem. Now imagine you've grown yourself and become a level 8 person. Would the same level 5 problem be a big problem or a little problem? Magically, the identical problem is now a little problem. Finally, imagine you've really worked hard on yourself and become a level 10 person. Now, is this same level 5 problem a big problem or a little problem? The answer is that it's no problem. It doesn't even register in your brain as a problem. There's no negative energy around it. It's just a normal occurrence to handle, like brushing your teeth or getting dressed. Note that whether you are rich or poor, playing big or playing small, problems do not go away. If you're breathing, you will always have so-called problems and obstacles in your life. Let me make this short and sweet. The size of the problem is never the issue what matters is the size of you. This may be painful, but if you're ready to move to the next level of success, you're going to have to become conscious of what's really going on in your life. Ready? Here goes. If you have a big problem in your life, all that means is that you are being a small person. Don't be fooled by appearances. Your outer world is merely a reflection of your inner world. If you want to make a permanent change, stop focusing on the size of your problems and start focusing on the size of you. Wealth Principle If you have a big problem in your life, all that means is that you are being a small person. One of the not-so-subtle reminders I give participants at my The Seminar is this, whenever you feel as if you've got a big the problem, point to yourself and scream, many me, many me, many me. That will abruptly wake you up and move your attention back to where it belongs on yourself. Then, coming from your higher self, Rather than your ego-based, victim self, take a deep breath and decide right now, in this very moment, you will be a bigger person and not allow any problem or obstacle to taking you out of either your happiness or success. The bigger the problems you can handle, the bigger the, the business you can handle the bigger the responsibility you can handle, the more employees you can handle, the more customers you can handle the more money you can handle, and ultimately, the more wealth you can handle. Again, 
your wealth can only grow to the extent that you do. The objective is to grow yourself to a place where you can overcome any problems or obstacles that get in the way of your creating wealth and keeping it once you have it. By the way, keeping your wealth is a whole other world. Who knew? I sure didn't. I thought that once you made it, you made it. Boy, was I in for a rude awakening as I proceeded to lose my first million almost as fast as I made it. Now, in hindsight, I understand what the issue was. At the time, my toolbox wasn't yet big and strong enough to hold the wealth I had achieved. Again, thank goodness I practiced the principles of the millionaire mind and was able to recondition myself. Not only did I make that million back, but because of my new money blueprint, I've made millions and millions more. Best of all, I've not only kept it, but it keeps growing at a phenomenal rate. Think of yourself as your container for wealth. If your container is small and your money is big, what's going to happen? You will lose it. Your container will overflow and the excess money will spill out all over the place. You simply cannot have more money than the container. Therefore you must grow to be a big container so you can not only hold more wealth but also attract more wealth. The universe abhors a vacuum and if you have a very large money container, it will rush in to fill the space. One of the reasons rich people are bigger than their problems goes back to what we discussed earlier. They don't focus on the problem, they focus on their goal. Again, the mind generally focuses on one predominant thing at a time. Meaning that either you are whining about the problem or you are working on the solution. Rich and successful people are solution-oriented. They spend their time and energy strategizing and planning the answers to challenges that come up and creating systems to make certain that the problem doesn't occur again. Poor and unsuccessful people are problem-oriented. They spend their time and energy bitching and complaining and seldom come up with anything creative to alleviate the problem, let alone make sure it doesn't happen again. Rich people do not back away from problems, do not avoid problems, and do not complain about problems. Rich people are financial warriors. In our enlightened warrior training camp, the definition of a warrior we use is one who conquers oneself. The bottom line is that if you become a master at handling problems and overcoming any obstacle, what can stop you from success? The answer is nothing, and if nothing can stop you, you become unstoppable. And if you become unstoppable, what choices do you have in your life? The answer is all choices. If you are unstoppable, anything and everything is available to you. You simply choose it and it's yours. How's that for freedom? Declarations place your hand on your heart and say I am bigger than any problem I can handle any problems touch your head and say I have a millionaire mind millionaire mind actions 1 whenever you are feeling upset over a big problem point to yourself and say many me many me then take a deep breath and say to yourself, I can handle this. I am bigger than any problem. 2. Write down a problem you are having in your life. Then list 10 specific actions you can take to resolve or at least improve this situation. This will move you from problem thinking into solution thinking. First, there's a good chance you'll solve the problem. Second, you'll feel a heck of a lot better. Thank you, 
If you like this video then please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.